Welcome to Up Dog Yoga. My name is Emily. I'm going to try six full back bends in a row. I've never done six full back bends in a row. The most, maybe I've done two or three in a row, but I'm going to try six. I'm nice and warmed up, so make sure you're warmed up too if you're going to try this with me. And if you don't even know what this is, just watch. Don't try it. <laughs> it's tough. All right, I'm gonna do a voiceover from here on out because otherwise it's just me quietly doing six back bends in a row. <laughs> so this is the first back bend. I lift onto the crown of my head first and then I lift my hips up. I've got my feet wide and I press my hands into the floor. And I'll have a full video on how to do this pose on Sunday. And you gently lower down the same way you came in. Crown of your head first. I usually hold wheel pose for about eight breaths or try to. And then when you rest between bridge pose or wheel pose, you want to hold for the same amount of time for at least eight breaths. So bring your hands beside your head. Take your feet as wide as your mat and you lift onto the crown of your head first. Press your chest back towards the back wall. And the only thing to really avoid is dumping in your shoulders. You wanna keep lifting up and towards the back wall. As you lower, you gently lower down, crown of your head first, and then rest for about eight breaths. And here I'm just moving forward <laughs> to make sure I'm still on camera. Now we're going into the third round after a couple seconds of rest. So either with your knees bent or another way to rest is feet together, knees wide, inbound angle or Supta Baddha Konasana. So you flip your palms into the floor, crown of your head first, then lift your hips. And when you do a full yoga class, uh, a lot of it is just opening up the front of your hips, your hip flexors. And then you lower down, crown of your head first, then your hips and rest. So here I do that second option where I bring my feet together and and knees wide. One hand to belly, one hand to heart, and you close your eyes and rest, or just kind of catch your breath. So now that I've done my third back bend, I'm probably feeling pretty tired here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but let's try it again, this time into the fourth round. So you set up with your feet hip distance apart, or I prefer wider. Yay! Those are my kids. <laughs> I prefer as wide as my mat. That just gets me higher into the bridge or into the wheel. That's when I do bridge, it's always feet hip distance <laughs> or feet together is another option. But that in wheel pose is so much more advanced to bring your feet together. It's a lot more challenging and we'll work on that as we continue taking classes um, for the Up Dog Yoga YouTube channel. Um, but for now, we rest. So here, we're just trying to slow my breath down. And then again, bring your feet as wide as your mat, hands as wide as your mat, lift onto the crown of your head, and then lift your chest, your hips. Press the floor away, keep lifting up. So a lot of times in a yoga practice, you'll have some doubt in your mind that I can't do this. This is too much. This is too challenging. That's where you have to understand that your body is a lot stronger than your mind tells it, tells you that it is. You can keep going. And now as we get into the last round, feet as wide as your mat, hands as wide as your mat, and lift from crown of your head first all the way up. So as you look at wheel pose, it looks like almost like a circle. Like if you could draw a circle underneath the floor, that's that big circle shape. And this is the most flexible pose. Um, it gets more challenging as you go into camel pose and bow pose because you are pressing away from the floor and against gravity. So even this is challenging because you have the 
addition of gravity to press against. So once you've done some rest, after a sixth wheel pose, if you're trying this with me, you can do some windshield wipers or take a twist. I definitely feel more limber. I didn't know that I could get up six more times. Um, the only thing that really affected me was my wrists. They're a little sore after that. <laughs> Other than that, I feel like I got more open, especially the further down. So thank you for watching this, and please subscribe to Updog Yoga. I'll be back with a full-length video in a couple days. Love you. Bye.